Hey, I'm Kat Graham. I play April O'Neil in the new series, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I come to play. What costume? I'm a little embarrassing. It's girl power now. Thanks, guys. Here are some things that you might not know about me. Although you might. It's go time! I was born in Geneva, Switzerland. Because why not? If you call out La Beja, I'll turn around. Uh, okay. If I could only dance to one song for the rest of my life, it would probably be um, Janet Jackson's If, because, you know, she comes in like this. Like... I am finishing this party! I loved a lot of things about Bonnie Bennett. I think playing that character made me really wise to the kind of girl that I wanted to be. If you step to my friends for stepping to you, for stepping to me, you gonna have to step to me, okay? <gasps> I have my own gel kit in my house. It's actually in a bathtub right now downstairs. And I have a whole gel situation and I do my own gel nails. Please, please, no dazzling. At my house in Georgia, I live on the lake and I've turned this little um, creek into something called Turtle Creek. And I go to the pet store and I buy all the turtles and I release them on my property. It's Beautiful. And um, the neighbors are like, why are there so many turtles here? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I need to do that with Jim Carrey, and then that's like a bucket list thing for me. And I'll be happy. There's so much to ask! Okay! So that happened! My DJ name would be really something stupid, corny, like Kitty Cat, DJ Kitty Cat. Like, not original at all. Like, it's just, no one would hire me. Not on my watch. English, Hebrew, French, a little Portuguese, that's it, really. I'm a little disappointing. My spirit animal is actually my dog, Peter. She's my spirit animal. Aww. Listen, I grew up in California, like cowabunga, dude. Cowabunga! The vegan everything on it. The like vegan sausage, tomatoes, onions, mushrooms, olives. Some people are weird about their toppings. I like everything. We just came for the free pizza. I would have to say Michelangelo, played by Brandon. He's just like the perfect flamboyant, wild, cartoony friend. And uh, Michelangelo is just so cool and has always been the cool one. Making it rain. Ha! Actually, funny enough, I was really obsessed with Nickelodeon. I watched like Secret World of Alex Mack, Clarissa Explains It All. Oh my God, salute your shorts. Nickelodeon, I think, shaped my childhood in a lot of ways. I concur. <laughs> you guys crushed it. My favorite go-to phrase, that's dope. People are like, what are you, stuck in the 90s? Yes, yes I am. That is messed up. It's definitely not running on the treadmill. I skateboard, I don't know if people know that, but I, I used to skateboard to even my auditions because I couldn't afford a car. So maybe that, if people didn't know that, now you do. You are not kidding, are you? My inspirations now are like the fans. So I would say that girls that are following my career and the ones supporting me, they're, they're my biggest inspiration right now. Couldn't have done it without you, April. Our girl with the plan. My work is done here.